hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i am going to work on this so when my character has equipped the bow when i turn into sides like this when i exceed some threshold my character will turn by with footwork like this so to match with the direction that I am looking at, the character will turn to that side like this with an animation montage and in that way I can avoid having awkward angles rotating my spine of the character more than 190 degrees to the back. Alright, so that's what I am going to do today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, so this is what I got so far. When I equip the bow, I can rotate. But as you can see, I just directly set the direction of the character or rotation of the character just to match with the aiming direction like this so what I'm going to fix today is this part so as you can see when I exceed some threshold my character just uh, swap to some rotation like this and this right so the fix is going to be here this is the function that we worked so far hmm right and here instead of setting this actor rotation i have turn left and turn right animation uh, with this one this animation does have root motion so therefore if i play one of these animation montages the character will turn into that direction right so first i'll disconnect this one because i don't need this part so here yeah when the absolute value of the rotation difference is larger than 60 then what i have to do is i have to play animation montage and here to avoid uh, interrupting this montage i'll add a do once node and after on completion i'll reset it like this okay so now depending on the rotation difference from my controller rotation to the actor rotation i should select here whether to turn left or turn right so how can i select that i'll try to explain that with a rough sketch let's see right so this is Mm, uh, this is uh, uh, this diagram is to represent uh, degrees of rotation so here it should be 0 and here it would be 90 and 180 and 270 right now let's say that my controller rotation is like this this is the controller rotation and my character rotation is let's say if it is something in between this so in this case the difference from controller to the character 
is uh, larger than so in this case controller rotation value is larger than the character rotation value and this difference is larger than 180 I am terrible at drawing so please bear with me so this one is larger than 180 okay and when the difference is larger than 180 my character should turn uh, right in this direction because that is the closest way to mm, match with this direction sorry no no not no I was wrong uh, but this is the character rotation so I should turn in this way so that means I should use the left turn left animation so the character would get closer to this one so what if my character's rotation is like this so in this case the difference would be less than 180 so here to match with this controller direction I should turn right see okay now that was when my character uh, controller rotation or the red one is larger than the character's rotation or the blue one so I'll clean this up and to this explain the other way so in this case my character rotation would be let's say like this and my controller rotation would be like this so this is the control rotation and in this case character rotation is larger than controller rotation so if I subtract from controller rotation uh, the character rotation just like before then again so here the difference would be smaller than minus 180 in this case my character should turn right to match with this direction so if my character's rotation is like this the difference would be larger than minus 180 and in this case my character should turn left in order to match with this character uh, controller rotation now I'm going to implement that logic here so here I need a select node to select animations and here I need two if cases because there are two scenarios so just like this one I'll again add another select and another select like this now this one I'll use here when my control rotation is larger than character rotation that means this one is larger than zero so to do that selection I'll use this one so if that is true I'll get the output from this one if that is false I'll get the output from this one now when my controller rotation is larger than character rotation And also, if this difference is uh, larger than 180, right? That was what we checked before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now here, if this one is larger than 180, it's the selection. If this is true, I should turn left left and if this is false I should turn right 
and this one would be selected if this one is smaller than 0 that means controller rotation is smaller than the character rotation so in this case I should check if this one is smaller than minus 180 like this and then if that's the case here I should turn right and here I should turn left okay now montage selection is done to increase the turn in speed I'll set this to 3 and compile and let's see how it looks okay so initially when I equip the bow it would be like this <coughs> and let's look at this side now as you can see character is rotating to that side to match with the direction that I'm looking at or the controller direction but now the aiming montage is gone that's because um, that's because I have played another montage here and after that I should play that aiming montage again so to fix that I'll add a sequence here and then play any montage the montage name is draw arrow right yeah that's the animation I have played and not really because this one is this one has this component as well so here I only need this looping part to play so the section start section should be loop all right now let's see how it looks right yes the character does rotate and do the aiming but still I'm not happy with this character removing the hand from the bow but unfortunately I don't have a turning animation in Mixamo with the bow aiming so yeah I don't I can't really do anything about that at the moment but you get the idea you now you can see how to do that right in an upcoming episode I'll try to fix that problem I'll try to find a workaround either I have to ask one of my friends to help with creating an animation that's suitable for this or some other workaround let's see for now this has to do and in unreal we have this uh, aim of set um, function and I know it can be this can be used for the aiming with bow function as well and I need to check and check and learn how to implement that so if I manage to learn that I'll do another update another tutorial with how to implement that one but I still I haven't studied that yet alright see you in the next episode goodbye